on over to Karen Roby, who joins us now from the Kentucky Derby mm -hmm. Museum. Uh, we're going to have some live interviews for you all morning. Uh, Karen, great. thanks for joining us so early. Good morning. Glad to be here. It's, it's, it's chilly, but hey, we're all making the best of it, right? Yes, <laughs> and a lot of people might be thinking, deja vu, Karen Roby. Yes. This is the Karen Roby, who Good was my co here. and you've been at WLKY for years and years and made a career switch. That's right. As a working mom. So now you're here at the Kentucky Derby Museum, and lots yeah. of new exciting things are happening. Yeah, you know what? We like to say that we celebrate Derby every day of the year, 365 days of the year. We're talking about Derby here at the museum, and that's what's fun about it is that people can come out in October or February, it doesn't matter what time of the year, and learn more about the rich history of the Derby, uh, which as we all know is, is so great to take part in. So uh, we do have a lot of new things here though. Um, we just made an announcement a couple of days ago that uh, legendary trainer Dwayne Lucas, yes. his collection will be coming here to the museum, which is really exciting for everyone because now everyone in the world will have a chance to uh, get up close and personal with so much derby history because he has, you know, won four derbies and has a collection that is uh, almost Im impossible to put into words. Absolutely. And as we walked through this morning, as mm -hmm. we were making our way up here to the roof, I noticed there were a lot of tables set up. So you guys having big parties inside today? That's right. Actually, the museum is, is, cl is technically closed uh, to the public. It was yesterday and today as uh, we do have the museum rented out for private derby parties uh, that will be going on. So it's weird to walk through here because everything looks so different now. And uh, most of the exhibits are kind of pushed to the side as they're, as they're making way for that. But um, it's a fun time here because everybody gets to come inside, have their party, sneak back out, come back in to warm up, of course, maybe get some coffee and head back out for the day. Yeah, absolutely. And talk to us about The Greatest Race. We know there were changes made to the movie that have been right. the same for so long. How's that going? Yeah, so we added, of course, with American Pharaoh. You, you can't not talk about him as part of The Greatest Race now with the uh, indelible market that American Pharaoh left on uh, horse racing. So he has been woven into his story, into the greatest race. And if you haven't seen it, it's such an amazing uh, 18 minutes of just exciting 360 degrees. It is, it's really neat to come see. And that plays every day, of course, uh, on the hour. Perfect. Yeah, I walked in there for the t first time this week, and I was just amazed at the history that you guys have documented. So if you have not been out to the Kentucky Derby Museum, mm -hmm. please stop by any time this year. Any time. Really. I mean, except except starting today. tomorrow. Back up. Right. <laughs> except for today. Uh, and starting tomorrow, we're going to be getting the exhibits uh, changed over, some of them to reflect today's winner. Yeah, so we got our work cool. cut out for yes, us, to say do. the least. Perfect. Thanks for being here, Karen. Certainly. Thank you. you.